Internationally celebrated Cambodian American composer China Ri Ung has been awarded one of the highest honors in the U.S., a lifetime membership at the American Academy of Arts and Letters. Ung will be officially inducted in May. The 77-year-old composer was chosen based on his artistic merit in music composition. So uh, I, I can play like one phrase now. <laughs> Ong says he owes his success to his own Cambodian identity. It's, it's the Khmer culture. It's what I learned from the rice field that I spoke of, uh, uh, what, what touches me the most. Uh, and, um, uh, and I think I, 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 I'm proud to say that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a Cambodian. Ong got a scholarship to study clarinet in the U.S. in 1964 and later received a Doctor of Musical Arts from Columbia University in 1974. His music is known for incorporating Eastern characteristics into Western classical settings. In spirit, my music, yes, does carry uh, the background of, of, of uh, of the culture in Cambodia. Without that background, I wouldn't be able to compose, let's say, inner voices. The 20 minute award winning piece, Inner Voices, was Ong's second orchestral work following a hiatus between 1974 and 1985. For some of those years, Cambodia was ruled by the Khmer Rouge, a communist regime that killed 1.7 million people and almost completely destroyed the country's rich culture. Ong turned his attention to the rescue of surviving relatives and the rebuilding of the traditions of Khmer court music. Uh, I'm the first uh, Cambodian and first American to win this. In 1989, In the Voices made Ong the first American to win the prestigious Romayer Award. Ong said the piece was his attempt to embrace the expressions of many cultures in a singular musical language. And he got the inspiration from a dream. In the dream, uh, I thought I had received an invitation to attend a ritual. And I heard the chanting about uh, a text that this uh, young, uh, young Cambodian lady, uh, a teenager, decided uh, to commit suicide and left, left that text to her parents to set it uh, into music, into song, funeral song, uh, during, the, uh, during her funeral. Tapping into his dream to compose In The Voices, Ong employed what he calls the interaction within himself to create an art that speaks to a global audience. You are not only looking outward and what could be learned uh, and so forth, but don't forget that uh, another 50% is the intangible. Uh, it is your feeling, uh, which is not yours. When you go deeper, it, it, uh, you hit on uh, uh, archetypal type of dimension and, and, and so forth, and that, 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 that could be shared globally. Today, Ong is a distinguished professor of music at University of California, San Diego, and works to preserve and innovate Cambodian traditional music. I'm Chatra Chap for VOA News, San Diego.